Okay, notch shape. I colored the very back of this notch to demonstrate a number of concepts. One is that overhanging edge is the same for the very back of my notch. Yeah, sure, one eighth of a pie slice, but stop short of dead center. And then as you carve, phalange that out. So now you have overhangs on all three walls. The back wall, notice it's not a wedge, so it can't capture dust, has a pitch to it, as do the side walls. This does two things. It prevents dust clog and it feeds that superheated pile of dust oxygen. And with that, I'm going to carve starting from the base of the fireboard. So I'm going to turn my fireboard upside down. And the first thing I'm going to do, see if I can tilt this so you can see it, is there's the bottom of my fireboard. I'm going to take and mark my eighth of pie as if it were just going to be a slice like a pumpkin pie slice. And that gives me my marks, okay? And then I'm going to kick out the bottoms. So mark it out to here, mark it out to there, and now I have to use uh, regular hand position for carving because this is pretty unsafe. <laughs> oh, pretty tricky, okay. So from here, you carve by slicing, not by plowing. Plowing is pushing straight in. But to slice, I hold my knife steady with a thumb brace and I try to line up those two marks, those canted marks, and twist and pull my cedar fireboard. This helps you prevent uh, the blisters that sometimes people get when they're not used to carving a lot. Okay, And then just pop the chunks out from between the two marks. And this is how you create that, that um, was it a flanged notch? That flared notch. This is how you create that flared notch. Just roll and slide, roll and slide. The knife doesn't move. Your uh, elbow is anchored to your side and the knife stays stationary. And the entire time I'm imagining that this is gonna end somewhere over here and out towards each of these marks that I'm making now. So there's my outline or my, my tracing marks, okay? Roll and slide, roll and slide. Making sure I'm flattening the end instead of having, having it end in a wedge. Got to slice, pull, slice, pull towards, slice, pull away until you have that little vertical wall in the back of your three-walled room. And there it is. I would want to smooth these walls up a little bit to make it textbook, but for a field operation this will work.